really had fun designing and writing Creative Edge article based on flowering our pets, especially getting to work with Swiley here. I thought that pet dress-up can be a fun distraction for social media posting, something that will make us laugh and make us smile with sweetness. I challenge all my readers and followers to create a beautiful pet flower dress-up and post. I started this month's article with the most suitable personification of our mini Australian shepherd, Swarley. He is a true herder and a protector by nature. He thinks he is really tough, a real dude. I created a flower bandana, not too flowery, a rugged, masculine, textural look, becoming of a working herder. Colin shot him modeling his dude bandana around his neck, worn slightly off center with a little swagger. He loved wearing this one. It was really becoming and personified him perfectly. The second pet dress up is Foxy Tail. It's a flower cosplay. Cosplay is a performance art whereby the costume wearer represents a specific character. Being that Swarly is a tailless mini Aussie, he's always had the dream of what he might look like with a tail, like a fox. So a coat was created with felt around the backbone of flat wire, supported at both front and back with Midolino extenders that also served as straps around his body. The tail made out of pampas grass stands up with built-in wire support to the spine. Finally, the coat was textured with layers of bronze to gold foliage at the hem alongside the pampas grass layers, transitioning into chrysanthemums and other botanicals in fox tones, designed just like a tapestry. The third pet dress-up is the Derby Flower Fascinator. A perfect dress-up for pets is not just limited to costume. For us florist pet owners, simply whip up a fashionable flower fascinator like the ladies wear for derby outings. This is a real designer showpiece with headdress like quality of artistry and creativity. The entire structure was largely inspired by dismembered individual bracts of the golden guzmania, its graceful curves sweeping up through the design. Swarley was not crazy about wearing his flower fascinator, but maybe your pet will. So all in all, it was a fun story and series of designs meant to create interest to our art through the cuteness of our pets. To read this month's full article, please visit hitomigilliam.com slash creative edge. You'll see multiple images of all three costumes along with the accompanying article for more insight as well as a list of botanicals and supplies used to create each of the three pieces. Also look for two upcoming tutorial videos from this month's article right here on my YouTube channel. First, a quick tutorial on how I created Swarley's Dude Bandana, coming later this week. Then watch for my Flower Fascinator Mechanics tutorial coming next week. I'll break down the construction and mechanics used to create Swarley's Derby Flower Fascinator. Back again is a limited number of signed 8x10 prints featuring Swarley and his dude flower bandana this month. All proceeds from this month's print will be donated to the BCSPCA. If you enjoyed this month's article and today's video, please consider supporting the channel by liking this video and subscribing to the channel for future content. And if you're interested in supporting even further, check out my newly launched Patreon page. You'll find additional in-depth Creative Edge content, as well as exciting new features like monthly virtual workshops, meetups, and exclusive discounts, and much more.